I remember being a little kid living with my dad and I had all sorts of hobbies and things like that. One of them being video games. I remember getting into like comic book cards and my dad just, he would always just hook me up and buy me these things, right? And not all the time could he afford it or not all the time he would give me what I wanted. And I remember pouting and throwing these fits and just getting all this attitude and everything. And then my dad would say something that I absolutely hated. And you might be able to relate to this. My dad would be like, do you know how many starving kids there are in Africa who would just be grateful that they have a roof over their head? And I'd be like, <laughs> and I hated it so, so, so much. But maybe he was right. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you out with your mental health and spreading awareness and decreasing the stigma. So if you're into that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the new uploads that I put out there on the wonderful thing that we call YouTube. So anyways, uh, I'll get back to that story I was talking about in a minute, but so yesterday, my son and I were chilling. We're, we're, we're just hanging out, playing some Fortnite, you know what I mean? And the power, boom, it goes out and I'm sitting there texting my girlfriend, I'm like, oh, power went out again because it happened about a month ago. And then it came back on and then went out. And then it came back on and then it went out. And it came back on and went out. And one of the issues with being here in Las Vegas is that when the power goes out, like it's hot. It is hot AF, all right? So my son and I, we tried to deal with it for a little bit. He was reading and I was watching some YouTube videos on my phone. I was watching Peter Mon. And I'm gonna do some videos about Peter Mon, but if you haven't heard about him, go check out Peter Mon's channel, all right? Anyway, so I'm doing that and my son is going back to school on Monday and we were hanging out and we were gonna play Fortnite all night. So I'm like, listen, you wanna go to the eSports arena? And that's this huge facility here in Las Vegas where they have a bunch of computers, bunch of video game systems. I went down there to play Fortnite, which I enjoy because their computers are much better than mine. And like, when I'm, when I'm going there, like, man, it was crazy. Like, we, like, people don't know this about Las Vegas if you're not from here, but we get like, in the summer especially, the summer has crazy weather. Not only is it hot, but we get flash floods. And yesterday it was, it was raining a bit. I don't think anywhere flooded, but the wind was nuts. And as we're driving there, like, just, so many areas were blacked out, right? Just no electricity, no power. Trees were falling down in the middle of the road. It was bananas. I was like scared because we were driving across town. But we ended up going to uh, the eSports arena and we're, we're playing and stuff like that. And I don't know if my power's back on. I ended up calling a gas station by my house. I'm like, hey, is the power back on over there? And it wasn't. And like, you know, the whole time, like I'm thinking, I'm like, why, why, why? And I'm getting angry and I'm getting upset. And I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna have to like, you know, uh, buy new groceries. Like I just went grocery shopping and now my groceries are gonna go bad. I have to do this. And woe is me, woe is me. And I'm so mad and angry and upset. And you know, I messaged my girlfriend because we were like halfway to her house already. I'm like, yo, can me and Dylan come spend the night? You know, our power's still out. And because she is the most amazing woman, on the planet, she said yes. And her little cousin was there, so this morning, uh, him and Dylan got to play video games. But anyways, I wanna make this video because I was going through Twitter, cause I'm like, I'm upset, right? Like, it went out at like nine o'clock last night, and it was still out this morning. I was looking at updates, I'm getting more and more angry, and I start going on Twitter to see what other people in Las Vegas are saying, and people are just like blasting in envy energy, right? Like all sorts of stuff. And they're just angry and they're like, it's been 13 hours, our power's still not on, you know, uh, my groceries are gonna go bad. I'm like, yeah, my groceries are gonna go bad. I'm getting so upset. But as I'm scrolling through, I, I see this woman and she tweets out something like, hey, are there any updates about when the power's gonna be back on? She's like, I got a baby here and you know, I have formula that's gonna go bad. And, and I'm like, oh man, well, at least my son's nine years old now. I don't gotta worry about like a baby and like, you know, formula in the fridge. I'm like, wow. And then I saw another one that was heartbreaking. It's something I didn't even think about. And this is why I'm making this video. When we get stuck and focused on our problems, we don't think about how good we have it. Cause I saw this other guy tweet and he was saying like, he lives with his father and his father has a bunch of medical conditions and he has like machines that he has to have hooked up to him. And he was like, hey, are there any updates about when the power is gonna go back on because my father's in this situation and luckily we just charged it up so it's gonna last a while. But after that, I'm like, oh man, like there's a bunch of other people who like 
they they could die from this type of stuff. Like what I'm thinking about, like what could this guy do? Like they would have to go to a hospital, but what if the power is out in the hospital? And I started thinking and going back to what it, the story I shared in the intro, like, man, like we had massive hurricanes within the last year, like what happened to Puerto Rico and they lost power and all sorts of stuff. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, wow. And I'm sitting here and I'm like worried about some groceries. I spent like 50 or 60 bucks yesterday, right? And I got a bunch of produce because I'm trying to slim down. And I'm like, man, like that's when I gotta be grateful. And that's what we gotta do. We gotta be grateful for this stuff. I'm like, at least I have money to go back and buy some more produce, you know what I mean? At least I can do that. At least I have a house to come back to. I'm thinking about, you know, the homeless people in Las Vegas and they never have power. You know what I'm saying? And like, it's really important that we do this. So something I'm really gonna start doing on my channel, and some of you might unsubscribe and that's cool, but I'm gonna be giving you a lot more tough love. And one of the reasons why is because I have to do it on myself on a daily basis. And like, here's some tough love I'm gonna give you right now. Like, I mentioned it in the video I did about Bobby Burns yesterday. Like, I'm, I'm going to make a video about all the excuses we make, all the excuses. Like, I don't have money to see a therapist. I don't have money to see a doctor. I don't have money to do this. Like, it has been scientifically proven by just keeping a gratitude journal, it will decrease your symptoms of depression. It will decrease your symptoms of anxiety. So if you can afford a pen and a piece of paper or a dollar notebook, you have absolutely no excuse not to do this, okay? I know it's hard, I know it's tough, I know it's difficult to be grateful when it seems like everything's crumbling behind you, but the thing is, is that when we remind ourselves to be grateful on a regular basis, it turns into a habit, and that's how we start to turn from a pessimist into an optimist, okay? Like, there are so many things going on in the world and so many people who don't even have the, like, if you're watching this video right now, if you're watching this video, whether it's on your smartphone, your tablet, your computer, whatever you're doing, you have a luxury that millions of people on this planet do not have. You have the opportunity to watch videos about mental health. You have the opportunity to read blog posts, to go to different websites, okay? So if you can afford your cell phone, your technology, you have the opportunity to do something about your mental health. Like, that was one of the reasons I went on that rant yesterday about Bobby. Like. It is such a slap in the face to the people who do not have the opportunity to do the things that we do, all right? So, do me a favor and start getting grateful today. Like, I, I, I know life is tough. Some of you are unemployed, some of you are having family issues, some of you have issues with your, your spouse or your kids or whoever it is. Find things to be grateful. I will challenge you to find five things to be grateful for each day. I can do it right now off the top of my head. One, I woke up this morning and I'm alive. Two, my power is back on. Three, I had a home to come back to. Four, I have a beautiful, amazing girlfriend who let me stay with her last night while my power is out. And five, I get to spend time today with my son who is sitting right over there and we're about to mess up some people in Fortnite pretty soon, all right? So do me a favor, get grateful today, acknowledge what's going on, the things that you can celebrate and be grateful for, all right? But hopefully you share this video with some other people who are struggling with gratitude a little bit, and if you need to, come back to this video when you're having an issue with gratitude, all right? So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you are new here, I'm always making videos just to help you out with your mental health, so take advantage of that and subscribe to my channel, and a huge thank you to everybody supporting me over on Patreon, and by the way, I'm grateful for all of you too, all right? So thanks so much for watching. Check out some more videos on the channel by clicking on one of those thumbnails and I'll see you next time.